I love my work. The green and man. I shall not stop. The next thing I do, I'll clip the lady's ears off. I'll keep my word. Yeah. I'll see you root. Tommy, 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 Robo. Tommy, 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 Robo, me. Tommy Robinson, a.k.a. Stephen Yaxley Lennon, has been sentenced today, a beautiful day, to a year and a half in prison. Yeah, 18 months in prison for contempt, you know. So that means that Tommy has now became Father Christmas, my people. Santa Claus has come. I hear the angels sing, boy, and you did it today, boy. When Tommy brings the, 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 the angels sing, boy. When Tommy visits Belmarsh this morning, you hear the Muslims sing, boy. I tell you. I'd say it's a beautiful occasion. It's a celebration. You hear me? Oh, what a beautiful occasion, my people. You hear me? Because justice has been served. And, and you know what? I've got news for all the fascist supporters of Tommy Robinson. It's just the beginning. They have played a beautiful game of law and order with this little little runt you know this little detergent little runt this little man who thinks he's he's above the law now you know he said I'm gonna release my idiot documentary called Silent and I dare you to jail me I'm gonna whip up such a frenzy with my idiotic marches, you know, anti patriotic, patriotic, patriotic marches, I call them. Love it. Anyone who attends your march, they, they don't know nothing about patriotism, they just know about fascism. And it's a beautiful, beautiful occasion when they play him like a game of snooker. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did. It's like. These prosecution right about now, you know, you've got to be very, very careful because they're playing it. If you can't play chess, you know, then you, you might be finished. But as I said to people, I don't play chess. I've never played chess in my life. They say, you must be a great chess player. I say, yeah, because I only play chess with real, with real pieces. Pawns, kings, queens, or you name it. Yeah, rocks, you name it. We all have a position to play. Mm -hmm. As I said to you before, from every single right in the UK, any kind of protest, I have always stayed in my yard. <sighs> I watched proceedings from afar. Mm -hmm. Doing a lot of crazy... I don't go on social media and do all this crazy frenzy and whip up me people into more of a frenzy now. I just keep my ass quiet and just watch proceedings and listen to proceedings and listen to people and watch people do the most idiotic things, you know. I follow my heart and not my head. You know, deep in my heart lays peace. You knew. So I follow that. I and mean, I don't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Deep in a lot of the people's hearts, it doesn't lay peace who takes the protest. They're not, you, you know, you claim to be peaceful people. But you know that during a protest, anything could arise. And if you're going to be a very peaceful person, then why do you want to put yourself in an environment where anything could arise, what could lead to you or others getting hurt? You know. So I'm very careful as I get into uh, the middle passage of my liberty. You know. 
Or there's places where to trod and places where not to trod. No. And if I never ever taken to the streets and process in my young life, in my juvenile life, why or why or why am I now going to do it now? Uh, surely I'd be able, I would have done it when I could have run close to Linford Christie's times. But now, I'm afraid I'm running like, you know, to like, it's not going to be a good look if I try and escape that judgment when the when the protesters start to go crazy and Tommy was what they're in a frenzy, you know. Anti-fascist protests and fascist protests. I just abstain from all the streets now. The streets is a battlefield now. And you also your computers and your phones and any social media you're getting arrested for is a battlefield now. You ever see the police went all the way on the plane now. And they went to a complete different country like Pakistan to arrest someone for saying that they, they tweeted something. Oh, you lot stay there and do your madness and I keep my ass quiet now because Tommy Robinson as I said he's been whipping up a lot of far right rhetoric ever since he came out of his fucking father's testicle ever since his mother pushed her, push her, push her out of her stinking smelly fucking pisinani and out came this fucking little runt called Stephen hmm? Stephen Yaxley Yaxley Lennon. Mm. And then he's got Irish passport, he's this and that, he's getting money from the Israelites, apparently, him and all kind of madness now. And, you know, he's got all these backing of all these fascist people, you know, a couple of Uncle Toms and a couple of crazy little seat people running up and down, one seat man. I mean, he's Louis vuitton up. And then Louis Vuitton, what a shallow motherfucker, huh? Don't even want to put on his sorry, he near me. Man don't even want to put on his sorry. You dig? I don't know why he wears that turban for. He might as well wear a baseball hat. You know what I mean? GG history. What he really needs to do is chop off his ear and wear a Muslim skull cap. You know what I mean? Convert. Convert to Islam. <laughs> In the name of the Ayatollah Amin or something. You know what I mean? But going back to this is when hate gets you, my people. Hate gets you nine months in solitary confinement. Because that's what your hero is going to be doing right straight away. He hasn't got the arsehole to go in normal wing and face it out. And say, where's my white, where's all my white generals now? Come where are you standing next to me? Black and white generals, why are you here next to me now? You lot stay there. <laughs> you lot stay there, yeah? Ah, Celia, this is what I'm trying to teach you all now. He's now became he's he's come to visit that jail with his sack, with his sack of goodies to give all the white inmates now. Look at all the the goodies I got in my sack for you all now. All my white my white compatriots now. Look what I've got for you. Look what look what Father Tommy's brought you now. Look what Santa Tommy's bought, you know. There's Xbox, there's games, there's fight, there's all these different prezzies I've got for you now. You know, from all the people who donated. They donated. He asked for people to donate for this court, coming upcoming court case, right? So they can fight the system. He says, no way I'm going to plead guilty on these charges now. I am fighting, I need money. And he must have raised about 86 grand for, from, from Dessa to Dessa. In about four, three, four days, hmm? When you see him land last week. No, in the, he wait to eight last Monday to, to this Monday. That's when he did it. He did it might last Monday he land. He said he's expecting to get arrested at the port and all kind of nonsense. But it doesn't work like that. You don't decide. And listen, I was what listening to some of their commentary on this fascist movement thing. And I says, Wow, they, they these people are so illiterate. They were saying Tommy's made a play day or you know, like we in the US. Because they got all these people, right? He's got Tommy Robinson. He's paid by all these different agencies. Yeah, some of them Canada, America. They they got a complete different um, justice program out there. We don't do plea deals in the U UK, my people. And Tommy's doing, and Tommy's, and they, 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 he, Tommy might get a suspended sentence because they're scared. They're scared because they, the judge is scared of Tommy. Tommy support. They're scared that they, they're dead. Put Tommy in prison. So they they're trying to find out the best solution because of Tommy's in control. Tommy's Tommy's got the upper hand. They don't want to look like cunts. They don't want to look like cunts. 
they they got to make a deal. They got to make a deal because Tommy, because they they got to make a deal because they don't want to be seen to be harsh and they don't want to be and all this madness that they can't be seen. They got to give a slap on the wrist and get suspended. Sentence. I thought you lot stay there. Do you lot stay there? Tommy Robinson get suspended sentence for contempt of court. You people are fucking mad. You lot are crazy. Who do you think his name is? Fucking Prince Andrew. Hmm? He is not a member of your royal family. If, he wasn't, if his name was Prince Andrew, he, he, he wouldn't even go to court. <laughs> but he's not your fucking Prince Andrew. He's another kind of dude. Hmm? He's the dude. You see, Prince Andrew is not the an inside a race war. Prince Andrew is just molesting little children. And because he's underneath a protection of royal cloth, he can get away with it. You dig? It's Tommy Stephen uh, Lennon. Hmm? He does things totally different. He is charged for, in my court of law, for inciting a race riot. You know, and he used Islam as the vehicle to incite race racial tensions in the UK and worldwide. He uses he went and chose one thing. He said, "I'm going to go after Islam, 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 Islam. Uh, we must exempt all the white paedophiles in England. You're all exempt in my eyes. All the black paedophiles exempt." All the Hindu pedophiles is exempt. All the Sikh pedophiles is exempt. Only one pedophile is in the world, isn't in the whole of the UK. I'm gonna target. That's Muslim pedophile. Well, that's a sick individual, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you are excusing every other fucking pedophile as long as they're not Muslim. No sir, no sir. That's a that's a very unhinged person, right there. No sir. So it is all right for everybody to rip. Um, the little white girls, the little black girls, the little Indian girls, the Chinese girls. As, but, as, 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 but if they're Muslim, well, I've got a problem with it. Well, I haven't got a problem with nobody else. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Them kind of rhetoric is the white fascist people went and followed, you know. But you see what? There's a girl. I hear a talk over the weekend and, and on the anti fascist protests because I tune into a lot of shit, you know. <laughs> And she said, Tommy Robinson, she said, last time I addressed you to the, the, the crowd, Tommy Robinson and his su supporters, there were 70 of them on convicted sexual offenders. She said, since then, which is only a few weeks ago, she said, now it's 100. She said, it's 100. Yeah, but the media don't want to report that. So, you know, birds of a feather flock together. He should then, if that's the, if, well, we know that's the case. And well, true, that's the case. He should be in in the protection unit because we're all the um, other sexual offenders occupy in our prisons. Thank you very much. But all I want to say is this. You know, my people, these are to all the anti-fascist supporters. You know, you all must raise a toast in, in, in celebration today. Because all your protest is not in vain. And guess what, all Tommy Robinson supporters? This is just the tip of the iceberg. Why? Because the real charge is the charge I licked him with last week. The the Terrorism Act charge. Because they said, if they licked him with that, when, before he left on the, to, to go on his holiday, before he left, when he, when he, the day after he cited the riot. That's, and they said, give us, give us your phone. He said, no. They should have, what should they should have done was arrest him and charge him under the terrorist act for inciting ter inciting the the the, the, the um, riots. Hey man, Andrew Tate, those are the charges they're meant to be on, and then Katie Hopkins as well, right? These are the charges you three are meant to be on, because how do you allow normal citizens to get all these years in prison who followed these people's rhetoric, especially Tommy Robinson, right? They said the man died in prison. And, bec and they're blaming this establishment for the, one of the men who went in the riot and he, and he went and topped himself. He went and killed himself in prison. They're blaming the judge for putting him in prison. But how could you... You got to blame Tommy Robinson putting him in jail for his crazy far-right rhetoric. Say we want our country back. You know, why do you want your country back for? 
But from exactly whom? Who the fuck stole it? As far as I look outside. Hmm? And when I, I look outside, this is England. Big Ben is still there, but you never know, Buckingham Palace is still there. All right. But as far as I'm aware, when I look on your your cabinet ministers, and when I look at their heritage, and when I look at the colour of their skin, like your leader, Keir Starmer, hmm? aren't they all white fascist motherfuckers? Good. Very good. So... What do you exactly want back? You got your a fascist government. Got every government you've had is is a fascist government. Remember that. So I don't know exactly what you want back. You can't get no more fascist than Keir Starmer. Thank you very much. Okay, he proves them time and time again. Every time he opens his mouth, every time he proves, he proves how fascist he is. Mm hmm. And how anti-Islam he is. Mm hmm. Yes, see, and how Islamophobia, the man is Islamophobic. They're proper, proper, proper. They ate, they ate, they ate Islam and they ate black people. You know what I mean? They ate black people. Hmm? And, and it's just a beautiful occasion, okay, that the terrorists at church, what they drop on his club. This is just holding, this is just to hold him until then, until that trial commences, because they, they get seven years, nine years for that. Because if other people's got six years, seven years, some of these writers, you have to make the ringleader an example. You have to make an example of the ringleader and give him, I would have given 15 years, my people, honestly. Maximum charge, a life sentence. I'd give him maximum charge. Because I say, look, Captain Hook, Hook I all them crazy Muslim extremist Muslim rhetoric who spilled out crazy Islamic extremist rhetoric. They went in prison eventually for all their, the rest of their life. Okay, that same rhetoric, Tommy Robinson has been spilling out for the last 20 years. The guy's only 41 years old. Okay, so I need Tommy Robinson away from society and his crazy far right army. I need you lot to just be expelled. Do you know what expelled? You, yeah, you need expulsion. You need to just be removed, man. Because you just don't understand. All, for all the years the black man has been in your goddamn country, the black man and the black woman, and the Asian man and the Asian woman, you still cannot accept it, you racist fucking motherfuckers. How could we be born generations after generations be born in this country? And these far right people still haven't come to, haven't accept, accept our arrival. Hmm? You tell me that. Can you please tell me? Thank you very much. And when you say, so then you're telling me, I, I'm, not, I'm supposed to say, it's not a beautiful day when a tiny bit of justice is being served for all the people who stand up against racism. Hmm? It's, if, and that is, that's, that's me. I'm, one, I'm, the, I'm not in the forefront of that now. That's when you call me. For, against racism, full stop. Hmm? Uh, so this is one of the greatest days known to live in to know mankind. And you people don't get that, you see. The far right don't get that, you see. Because you're too far fucking right, you see. Hmm? You don't know you don't know right and wrong. That's why you lot are called far right. Remember that, you know? Right. You're called far right because you know I know right from wrong. Right? Some people is a little wrong, my people, right? And you, you understand. They're not fascist, they're not racist, but they're a little wrong. Right? See? But they're not far wrong. You see me, I see? Some people's a little right. But they're not far right. That's why, you know these people, they should be called far wrong. How can you be called far right when you're never right in the first place? When you've got fascist ideologies. Thank you very much. Yeah, me. Mm. So Tommy Robinson, see? Is he going to get attacked in prison? I don't know about that, you know. Because... I'll show you how it run in prison right now. Prison is a very dangerous place to be now. You know, you don't know who's who. And I'm talking about the people who work there. You see me, I say? You have gal, all them gal who's having sex with fucking prison inmates. These girls are having sex. I'm talking about the prison workers, you know. I'm talking about the screws. Some of these women 
Some of these inmates are some of the worst inmates known to mankind. You'd think, what they rascal like? You would have sex with that man. He's a monster of a man. Have you seen some of his crimes he's in there for? Right. So if them gal, them gal must be a sick, sicker than rascal like the inmate who's killed all 18 people. And then, you see, it's like the more sicker the inmate is, the more sicker the gal are for them. Right? It's like, it's like more, it's like more dangerous they are. So Tommy Robinson might get a bit of pum pum, you know. He, one girl might say, listen, he might get a far-right fascist girl. And she say, listen, is the nanny right here? You see me? I'm going to risk every blood clot thing right now. You see me? I say, but why should I do it? No. She I feel me? And she's filming it, you see? She fucked Tommy up and fuck herself up at the same time. Why? Because why is she filming that now? Hmm. She opened the next cell door. And who's coming in? The man's them with the beard. Because she was really working for them. You see me? I said, but she sweet up Tommy. And she said, she said, I'm far right girl. And I've, I've always been a fan. I've always been besotted of you. Drop two blood clot baggy. Tommy start get horny. Start, Tommy start get lob on. What happened now? Tommy start crying now. She just slide them keys out now. Them keys are already gone. The, the bearded men coming in behind Tommy. You see me, I say? Allah Akbar, Api Batio. Tommy get up. Gang rascal, you know what I mean? Him get lined up and get train track by a couple Allah Akbar. You see me, I say? You just don't know what I go on. Tom, the, the next minute, you see Tommy there? Tommy come with a fat, fat belly. You know Santa's always got a fat belly? Tommy get nine months pregnant by them same bearded men who put you in there because you're so, you know when you're so obsessed with certain people, you get what you wish, wish for, you know. Yeah, you're too obsessed with them, Mandy. And come, you're so obsessed with them Muslim, Mandy. Come like you are getting pregnant by them, Mandy. You know what I mean? And you give them, Mandy, half the chance, my people. Then man, they'll do some serious sodomization on Tommy Robinson, Stephen Lennon's fucking tired, fucking drowsy, drape up, mash up ass. You hear me? Impregnate his clut. Hey, my people, you're living in some serious times, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Tom, some, some, some you won't be surprised if you see some footage of Tommy Robinson. Getting gang banging fucking um, it, right in Belmarsh right there, because them man they got money in you know? a lot of them Muslim man in there you know they got money you know, and I'm talking about their money's long you know, and a lot of them man they say look I'm putting out forty fifty grand right now, you see me I say if you get to me that fucking ass and it, and that's to a screw if you bring me that fresh fucking ass right here, you know what I mean. And I try and get, to get this motherfucker pregnant. You see me? I said, blood clot. A screw would deliver your your beloved Tommy, Tommy Tommy Robbo, on a silver platter to the long bearded man. You did? Yeah. And they say, what's it called? Is it? No, I wasn't saying Alan, Alan Akbar. I was saying Alan, Alan, Alan at the bar or something. No, you don't stay there and make joke at them people. That's not your peril. At your peril. Don't make no joke at that against this Islamic people if you don't know what you're saying, you know. I'm telling you that now, you know. These people are not the people to play games with, you dig? See, man like me. I can sit down. I sit down and delegate with, with Islam man. Islam scholars. And I show them what's wrong with, with the Islam. What I think is wrong with Islam from my perspective. I'm allowed to have an opinion here, you see. I bet you never know. Mm -hmm. You don't have to ad ad agree to my opinion, but I'm allowed to have it. There you go. As long as you don't start talk shit, they would listen to you. I'm not interested in their profit, but not me to find out that I'm like that by people. I'm really not interested in that. I'm interested in the way a Muslim man greets each other. There's a, there's that physical contact with the kiss, with the tongue, with your mouth with your taking yourself and kissing another man on the cheeks i'm just not into all that you know it's just homosexual behavior you know so i have to address that you know to my fellow muslim man when i'm delegating 
Because I say, I don't want to kiss nobody. These Italians started that shit, that fucking chitch. Or fucking Valentine, Valentino. And you'll fucking um, celebrate for some Valentine shit. Yeah, me. Hmm. Everybody's running up to the next man and kissing them. That's, that's forbidden. That's supposed to be how rum, you know. Because in my ideology, it's forbidden. See, what you lot say is forbidden. I don't say it's forbidden, you yeah, see. You say the swine, the pig is forbidden, and I love the pig, you see. You, you know, but you don't say kissing another man on his goddamn cheek 1,000 times is forbidden. You don't say to give praises to a higher entity who you say is your God behind another man's bottom is forbidden. Well, well I do. I forbid that act right there, you see. You see, for me to drop down in front of another man's body and submit to him, that's telling a lot about me, isn't it? What am I submitting in front of a man's bottom for? Or behind a man's bottom for? Or a man's behind my bottom submitting for? That don't make sense. You keep that submission to yourself, you now, Because the black man, in my... In, be, in the eyes of the behold of the black man, these eyes. The black man has been submitting too long now. You got that whip and you said, Submit, boy, down, beat me on my back till I submit now when I was asleep. Now? And then you say, Get down on your, then you implement this thing called Bible on me now. And said, Get down on your hands and knees and submit once again now. To what? To, to, to a God that you can't see now. To Jesus now. I said, what do you ask? Oh, is this so much submission you, a, a black man could take, a black boy could take? No. For fuck's sake. Then they say, oh, change your religion and come into this religion now. And submit a bit further. But this time you're submitting behind man's bottom now. I said, oh, for fuck's sake. I've given up. I've given up. I've given up now. I don't need all this now. Before I submit in the Catholic Church behind man and woman, be on your hands and knees on the mat. No, you're submitting only behind man bottom in your religion. Ah, come on, I don't need all this. I said, they tried it. They tried to convert me, didn't it? My Burdry, Mustafa, he used to be called Jason. He moved to um, the highest conversion of his, um, Islam. He moved up to that county, the uh, Sheffield now. For fuck's sake, huh? The man take me in, moss boy. And then I gave moss to give me a stale apple and they gave me a couple of stale bananas. So take that home to kids, you know. I said, oh, thank you, thank you. you know. Then I says, uh, then they says, come in that hall there and pray. I says, what the ass is this? And then I says, mm, he's about 30 years ago. You know? I says, well, I'll try it. Then this fucking fuckery came. When I mean fuckery, it's like some fuckery. Oh, and everyone starts to make this noise and then it goes all quiet. I said, what's happening? He says, it's time to pray. I said, well, what, where am I going to pray? He says, right here, just drop on your ass. Says, nah, see you later. Bye. He said, what? I said, see you later. I'm not doing all this nonsense. I don't know about this. Bye. Yeah, me. Thank you very much. I don't know. It, it doesn't appeal to me. He's in the room of men doing a whole heap of nonsense, I call it. No. You know, I, mean? I could do that on my ones now. Uh, that religion, that thing there where you need man in one room praying, what's all that about? It's very, very homosexual behavior. I'm trying to teach you. Okay? Anything what divides the man from the woman, I'm not interested in it. Try. I shall repeat anything what divides the man from a woman. At uh, all these long lengths of time, I'm just not into it. The man and the woman should be joined at the hip. The man and the woman should be joined at the hip. Hmm? You, you're doing everything together. You make, for once you're making love together, you eat together. You eat breakfast, lunch, dinner. You, you eat supper together. You pray together. You see, if you don't pray, you give thanks to ancestors. You, 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 you're doing whatever you need to do together. So I don't know where it is divide between man and woman I come from. Right. I'm not there now. Okay. I, just, I see all these different people or organizations, whatever they are, they're fucking all men. They, have you seen Nation of Islam before? Have you ever seen a woman present? Oh, 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 oh. Have you seen Black Hebrew lights? Have you seen a woman present? Okay. Is it Rostaman congregate? Be men. I can't take it. I said, you, then, then you got all these different movements now. And you see, beaming, beaming, beaming. It, when you say Tommy Robinson, he's March. You see, one million man 
and you see about 10 girl. And that's it now. You know what I mean? Hey, the anti fascist march. You see, big girl. I noticed that already. The anti fascist march. I'm seeing big girl on the march. Day. So if you want, if you're a girlist, I would advise you to join the anti fascist march. Day. You're getting all different girl on there. You're getting LGBT, you might be getting straight, you might be getting this, you might be getting trans. You don't know what you are getting. So, but me, I wouldn't go there. So if me, I look for them because, as I said, you get you, you get a lot of confusion of people who claim to be women, but they might not be women. They might look on the outside like women, you know. When you look at them on a YouTube and them thing there, and, and then you look at them on Twitter and them thing there, they might look like women, but enough of them might have a hood or in the transition of getting one. They buy a hood. You see me answer? Yeah. But hear this one now. The beautiful news is this. Tommy Robertson, he be in jail. Well, he be all carving your nice Christmas dinner. Be in America, I have Thanksgiving shit. I don't know when Thanksgiving is, it might have gone. My American brother and sister, exactly. But I do know that we're very close to that beautiful time, what we call Christmas in the UK. And a lot of us out here, we still celebrate it, you know. You see, like me, I'm very old school like that, you know. It's all about Ainelis. We don't say we don't celebrate Christmas. We celebrate we we celebrate a different holiday. We 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 acknowledge Christmas during the whole of that Christmas time, like Christmas Eve to way New Year's. We celebrate. Understand? But it's not what you lot are celebrating. All right, we rejoice in a different entity. Thank you very much. And but Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Robo, see. It is that's a beautiful occasion. We is over the whole festive time. Eh? Tommy, you time that really beautiful. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, Tommy. This is only the first of many you're going to be missing. Because the Terrorism Act charge. That's where Keir Starmer really have you. That's where he really wanted you. He said, get that Tommy. He's responsible for these rights. We're going to give our X amount of prison sentence. We're going to give prison sentence. That these motherfuckers have never knew existed. Labour MP, yeah, the MP, the, the, the MP, I don't even Labour MP. She got two and a half years this last weekend. For fuck's sake. <laughs> they shot for the MP's wife. I says, yeah, this, I like this. This is getting really, really interesting. Now, Keir Starmer just got nuts from them because he used to be CPS boy. <laughs> and Mandy just crime. We call it. He come like, what's that man's name? What was his name? Remember that New York had a terrible Gugliani. Hey, that's your Gugliani right there. That is your Gugliani, Keir Starmer, where you just lock up. You don't care if you're black, white, Indian, or Chinese. You're going to get the 1,000 years in your club. This is the word I'm going to help my followers now. Whether you're black, white, Indian, or Chinese, listen keenly. Whatever you do, do not think of breaking the law over the next, on this man's tenure. Please, this is a typical, this is, this is a, an example. He's just laying down the, this is, this, he's laying down the benchmark. He says, this is what you're going to get on my tenure. You, you think, you think Boris is anything? He says, listen, Boris, you're a buffoon. Me, I am coming as a Stalin. You, this is going to be, you're going to be bringing, do it. hey, this man's going to bring some hard labor. Everyone's going to be a prisoner and you're going to be, he's going to have everyone in stripes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know who's a jailbird and who's not key at playing games. Tommy, he says, We're gonna show you look. Get him on the contempt. Try get, give make them think he's gonna get a squeeze so his followers don't go crazy. We're not gonna give him the maximum because the maximum they're gonna give him was six more months, which is two years, right? It's only three months less, you know. Tommy would have had to do twelve months, one whole year if he got two years. In this way he only does twelve weeks less, right? But by then terrorist case come up and they got then gonna have a tight case case his blood clot you know why because the movements now is restricted they're now going to get other people because you see that film called the science what silence there's other people a couple people they already named them um some jews guy he there's people who put the um andrew tate put it up now those people they they they, they drew hey that may i tell you now they reckon they was going to make those people are going after as well. But they reckon they're going to make a deal. They told me he's not the owner of the film, this and that. It doesn't matter. Okay? It was 
he was the one, the owner of the film, never go get warning. If this film was released, he'd be in contempt of court. Boom, boom, boom. It was Stephen Lennon who got the warning. No? And he broke it because no? he thinks that his name is Prince Andrew. He thinks that he belongs in the Windsor family there and he's exempt and he's above the law now. And you see, they have to mean he has been above the law. Oh, yes. He's had a free reign out here for a long time. But I'm telling you this now. Keir, if Keir doesn't act on a terrorism act judge, right, and throw the kitchen sink, sink at him, they've got to throw the book at him now. You see, because he's due for a trial coming up, right? That's a, that's a, he's got to go for terrorism um, hearing. He's got to go to the station to, to see what exactly what he mean. Did they charge him for the terrorism thing? Hold on. They charged him. So he's now going to have to go on the terrorism thing. See? But that terrorism thing is going to extend. It's not about him not giving him the phone. It's the reason why we wanted access to your phone. Because we believe you are responsible for the um insight in this 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 riots now and these people and if once we find you responsible for it now because we got the evidence they've got the evidence my people to put his tired ass in jail for another seven christmases gone like we're in 2024 right tommy robinson right time we we the, we we the country finisher of him he's going to be out in 2030 and i say we because we all are in it together against the far right and he's the head of them. Okay? Okay. So you subscribing her to subscribing her. Because as I said, you raise is three cheers and raise a toast up for the justice system at long last is being seen to be d done doing what they're there to do. And that's uphold the law. Okay? Subscribe to prescribe antidote because it's a beautiful occasion and it's a beautiful day. And if you're a Man United fan, a little side sweep, you know, uh, it's you it's, it's double double it's double bubble because you got rid of that arsehole. Subscribe, prescribe, and eat up.